When the floodings occur, we are being affected in many ways. First, our health. This water is polluted. Also, it poisons our homes. And the children, they don't go to school because their uniforms, their books, all have been spoiled. The poor people that live within the Simbazi Valley are the ones who are most vulnerable. The floods that impact the city on a routine basis cost hundreds of millions of U.S. dollars to the government of Tanzania and to the people that live here. The Misanbazi Opportunity Plan requires environmental uh, measures, it requires social measures, it requires infrastructure measures. And to explain that to people that either are not familiar with the specific area of the city or to those that don't live in Dar es Salaam has been complex and challenging. The use of virtual reality seemed like an appropriate tool in this sense in order to allow people to really visualize what life is like today in the lower basin, what the project would bring through its phases of construction, and then what the future of the, of the downtown core would look like once the project is complete. We've built a virtual reality experience of the Mizambazi Opportunity Plan. This allows the viewer to actually see real 360 degree footage of flood events. It allows them to envisage the infrastructure improvements that will be made in the valley and it allows them to change flood levels and actually see the impact of the infrastructure changes on the flood levels. So when I put it on, you're right in the middle of the Mizambazi where I was like, whoa, this is incredible. You know, I, Felt like I was right there. Felt like that my feet were going to get wet. To envision a solution, I think, is uh, something that is not so clear and apparent. And the VR experience really helps you see as a decision maker um, where where this area can go. So I could see that this is really going to be the next frontier in terms of digital technology and our, and our use of communications and understanding the world. I think this is an exciting opportunity for the private sector, to be very honest, and uh, a lot of the groundwork that uh, needs to be done has been done. I think it's very important that we create a willingness to be really inclusive. And this is a development of 57 hectares in the center of Dar. It should give enough space in development to really include the low-income sector as well as the middle and upper-income sector. 